Good day. Welcome to the second part of my uh, pipe joints tutorials. These are all done in Blender 2.6 and can be found on Wikibooks under the heading of Blender Noob to Pro. Today I'm going to cover the six cylinder joint or the six way joint, whatever you like to call it. There's the lesson in Wikibook. I'm going to be adding this lesson to the same uh, blender file that holds my T-joint. So first I want to remove it from the top layer so that I have a nice clean workspace. So hit M and it will bring up your layer options. Click on any other layer, I chose 10. Make sure you're back on layer 1 and your cursor is centered. If Shift C will pull the cursor to the center. Align your view so the cursor is in the center of your screen and Shift A add a cube. Go into edit mode, tab, make sure everything's selected and subdivide once. We're going to be selecting all of the vertices that lie in the middle of each edge. There's 12 in total. I will use circle select for this. So press A to unselect everything, C to bring up circle select and your middle scroll button should resize it. Left mouse button clicks will select a vertice, middle mouse button will deselect and right mouse button will turn off circle select mode. So there's all 12 vertices selected and now we're going to scale it. So press S for scale, we're going to scale by the square root of 2 which is 1.4142. So S and type in 1.4142 and your object should now look like this. Now you want to hit A to deselect our selected vertices and then hit A again to select all. Now we want to extrude the faces. Click Alt A, the extrude options, and click on individual faces. And number three. And your object should now look like this. Next we're going to be deleting those faces. But first select the center vertice press G for grab and pull it out and you'll see there's actually stuff underneath there. We've got two vertices sitting on top of each other so select all and click on remove doubles. You can see up the top here how many you removed. Now if you select the center vertice and delete it those faces will all be gone. So now hold down shift select all of the center vertices click X and delete vertices. Now have a look at what we're left with. Now in the middle here you can see there's a bit of wireframe that's showing. Well we don't need it. So select all the vertices on those as well. Click X, delete vertices. Now it's clean. And there's our finished product. Now we need to tidy it up much the same way as we did with the T joint. So go into wireframe mode, make sure your pivot point is at median and we're going to scale along the X to zero. Do the other side S X zero. Now do the top and bottom. It should be S Z zero. The bottom. Select S Z zero. Go to a different view so you can see the front and back. And S Y zero. 
and SY0 again. And there we have the basis for our six cylinder pipe. Now we just need to smooth it all out and make it look neat and tidy. So tab in object mode, click on smooth, go over to your modifiers. We're going to add our subdivision surface modifier. Turn the view up to 4, render up to 4, and as you can see it's fat in the middle again, and wafer thin thickness. So we're going to need to thicken it up and pull, tighten up the middle part. It'll be easier to do this if we turn the view in the modifier back down to 0, so we can see our vertices and edges a lot easier. We're going to be selecting all of the inside vertices of our extruded parts. I've done this just by holding down shift and left clicking. Make sure you get them all or else it will look a bit warped. Now hit Z, go into wireframe mode and check your selections, make sure you got all of them. Turn your modifiers view back up to 4 so we can see what's going on. And click Shift E to bring up your crease tool and type in 0.5. And your object should now look like this. Press numpad 0, go into camera mode, shift F will allow you to adjust and move your camera around and we'll do a quick render to see what it looks like. So now we want to apply our subdivision surface modifier, apply a solidify modifier which will be 0 0.05, as 0.5 is a bit too thick. Click Apply, go to the Materials button. This time, instead of New, we're going to go to Select Material to be Linked. This is the PVC material we made in the T-joint section. And there we go, our finished product. Now hit M and place that on the same layer as your pipe T-joint. Make sure it's selected. And there's our two joints. I'll scale it down so it's the same similar diameter at least to my T-joint. Pull it out so I can see it. And there they are. And that's the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Oh, lastly, remember to save your file.